what you think about how it would work because it was the first, the very first time in France that there was a commercial rooftop farm. Um, so uh, they could be worried about uh, things like, I don't know, are you going to bring dirt in the department <laughs> store? Uh, are you going to flood the roof? Uh, are you sure that this is going to fly away? Uh, so really technical uh, things and how we could interact together. Are you going to offer visits uh, to the customers here? Uh, are the employees working here able to do some gardening or buy the products here? So we thought about all this and we uh, also have to ask the, the city for permits uh, because it's uh, each time you change a building, especially such an uh, emblematic one, uh, well, you need to uh, ask the city if it's okay uh, and if it's safe as well. Uh, so this took us a year and in 2015 we were ready to start growing um, about the numbers. Uh, here we have uh, 18,000 plants, uh, as Le Le Lucy mentioned. It's one of the gardens, so we have another one that is really a 15 minutes subway right from here, it's even bigger than that. Uh, in total, uh, we grew 18,000 plants here, 22,000 at the, the other department store, so that's already a lot in Paris. Uh, you have to picture that uh, here when we put, for instance, the thousand tomato plants, uh, they give each of them about 5 kilos of tomatoes, so that means 5 tons a year, just for this garden just for one year and just for one crop. We actually have teams that work, we have 14 gardens uh, at Sous les Fraises and so our team just moved from one farm to another one. So maybe we go through, I'll tell you a couple of things about that and we have, uh, if it starts raining hard, we can move to a room. Uh, you can actually taste some of the products and I'll show you a video if you want to see uh, what it looks like in summer. This is used as well. Do you want to try it more? <laughs> no. it, you're saying it's edible. What is it used for? Um, usually for salads. They, they put that in the mixed salads uh, to bring some flavors and some colors. This is quite peppery if you want to try. It's, uh, it's nice to show. Uh, this is used as well. Um, uh, they, do, uh, they mix it with olive oil and oh. citrus and they do a salad dressing. And it's quite citrusy. This is mint. Uh, it will be quite smelly, so we do herbal tea with it. Uh, we do um, uh, even some uh, spirits, some gin and vodka. Um, we have sage. What else do we have? Uh, this is called amaranth. I don't know if you've heard about it. So you do it. Yeah, and you do flower with it, right? Uh, this is lavender, so we use the, the flowers as well. Um, what else? Uh, so you can try these flowers as well. It's, uh, it's a salvia. So same thing, the chef use it for some, uh, some uh, of their dishes. Oh. <laughs> if you do that with the leaves as well, it's quite smelly and uh, we infuse it. Uh, actually, we distill it and we do gin and vodka. It's, it's a gin, you know, we plant from the rooftop of Paris, so it's yes. quite unique. You get we're so drunk, the, my friend. <laughs> we're actually the only one doing that, uh, and it's made next door. Uh, it's in the dense district, uh, so it's just a 10 minute bike ride. So, technically, we harvest the plants. Of course, we meet the distillery before we agree on the recipe, but we harvest the plants, we go down. Uh, we bike to the distillery uh, and it's put uh, in the alambic and three months later we get gin and 